that's how to install the SQLite on Raspberry Pi. Simply go to your console, type in sudo apt install SQLite 3. Then we install the SQL Server browser. So therefore we go into our uh, terminal. In the terminal we say sudo apt install SQLite browser do you want to continue yes Then you see this under programming the DB SQL uh, browser for SQLite here on the top. And after this, you have here the SQL Server SQLite database, which is now on my Raspberry Pi. And I may connect now my applications, my .NET Core applications, to the SQL Server Lite. Installation of a database is quite easy, so simply go there to a new database since it's a database which is running on your own system. And there we take the place where we, where we want to install it. In my case I select the, my Pi projects and there I have my uh, Blinker application where I will con connect my data to. And then we say here uh, create a new folder which the new folder is called my database database and there we say we connect the database which is called uh, my so for this we need a measurement DB database which measure measures the sensor so we say this is our measure Or I take it easier and say simply it's not my measurements, so it's my data. Data DB, that's all what we need. And we say save. Now we have this new database and now we create a table in there. We say this is my measure, the measure values. My measure values for my sensors and I may add some a field in there so my field is called uh, it's not an well maybe it's integer let's take it in, in as integer uh, I'm not sure if we take it as an integer uh, it should work simply for test and then this is my sensor uh, now for, this is my value measure value uh, so this and then we have here not null should shouldn't be null or not so it's another id value um, and default default is zero for example default is zero and then we add some new fields so let's say this one is not this is a date I date time let's say let's say in here is the date time text integer numeric field hmm mm -hmm. so we have no date time in here right that's a pity so for this we have to take let's see it's without row ID and f first we create a row idea. So first we go, we do this in the following stuff. We say, this is my row idea with automatic idea. And we only have integer. And that's a pri uh, primary key. AI, I don't know what AI is, 
auto increment yes so starting from zero and this is I don't know what the u is and then we say we have here the value measure value which is also int and and these ones will not be uh, zero yeah and that's it now we say save and now date time also date time date time so we also store it as an integer value since this is also a possible as integer value should be okay date time when it's measured then we say okay and now we have a database measure measure values and that's it how our database will work maybe we take some browse of data and then we say new record my idea is zero filter measurement uh, the measurement is zero so we say measure value is 100 for example and the date time when we have measured is some something with for nine something like this it's a date time value should be should also be possible or as a or as a, uh, as a string i'm not sure how to handle these ones and for further questions this is my raspberry pi 4 which is connected with with the hdmi to my uh, menu uh, to my monitor and there is the database running straight on a raspberry pi and we want to measure the values of uh, value circuit uh, of a measurement circuit circuit into the database 